there have been some changes in the rules and uh, when we first started to play and this and these rules applied until into the into the 50s really we the ball would never be moved from anywhere like we mark it on the greens now mm -hmm. we didn't do that then and if you're playing match play and my ball happened to be between the hole and my opponent, he's got to find a way to either get over it or around it. This is called stymies. And a lot of the people that are playing golf today wouldn't know what a stymie was, I don't think. But we never moved it. We had no markers to mark it if we, if we, if we had to. The odd time, there was a, one exception. If the ball was within six inches or so of, of each other, when you couldn't very well hit it without hitting the ball. They, they would allow you to move to to mark it. But we had no markers or anything, so we'd have to uh, it have to be approximate oh, when you put right. it back. And in those days, tees, wooden and plastic, hadn't been invented yet. So every hole had a sandbox at the tee. And, and they'd, it would be kept, it was quite a large box and it, which, which was filled with sand, which you'd have to uh, keep moist, and people would go over and get a handful of sand and make your own tea. And this went on, as I say, into the 50s, well after the war. Then finally, of course, we got wooden teas now, and plastic teas, and etc. And, and we did away with all those tea boxes. But they were there was one at every at, at every tea. <laughs>